Oh, yeah. she did. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Uh, this will be Wednesday, January 22nd. We're going to continue with the Greek mythology word. But first, let's take a look at uh, the bell word. Did you guys have questions on any of this that you weren't sure about that I can help you with? If not, then we can move on. Only once twice twicey. Yeah. Does interrogative mean um, question mark? Oh, okay. you are correct. All right. Then next week, Monday, Tuesday, we're going to have a quiz over uh, Greek mythology, and there'll be a question or two from this. So I uh, will hopefully help you answer from that. Then to here. Did we get through any of the blue sheet with you guys yet? No. All right, so we're get a chance to just start into that. The notebook, if you're still working on it, keep it out so that you can work on it. If you're done, then you can put it to the side. All you need out is the blue sheet and the white sheet. The white sheet. To give you guys a quick rundown, the family tree is going to help you figure out how everyone's connected. Greek mythology, the, there's a lot of intermarriage and people who married their sisters and their cousins and stuff like that. It was very uh, Kentucky of them. And so this is to sort of help you figure out where everyone connects to each other. Mrs. Simmons, could you grab him a blue sheet from behind you? He was dead yesterday. Thank you. The other side is the one we're going to be using today. It's going to go through there and tell you the Greek gods, and then also it's going to tell you the Roman gods, and you can go through there and see on there too. The names in parentheses on here is going to be the Roman name. Mr. Rodiak, what's the difference? Well, the Greeks and the Romans lived around the same time. The Romans came after the Greeks, and so they just have different names for the exact same gods. So that we can refer to one as Zeus, or we can call him uh, Job. It's the same thing, <laughs> Zeus or Job. Just like you can say brother, or in Spanish you can say hermano, it's the same thing. One's English, one's Spanish. Same thing with Greek and Roman. So I've given you both names on there because they're both going to work. They're both pretty important as far as where we get our stuff from today. So in a moment, we'll go through there and try to figure out where we get the different words and things like that. Before I forget, two things I want to bring up. One, mythology. The word mythology means religion. This was all religion at one time or another. Um, and then, let's see from there, you might want to grab him a copy of the homework if he doesn't have it. Is he'll need to get that done. Or actually, no, go back. Hang on. Emmanuel, give her back the shoe. Take my notebook. Because you have two homework assignments. And you can work on both those. Put it on my desk. Thank you much. What name is on it? Um, Anthony Delusha. He's not here today, so I'll give it to him tomorrow. Okay. That'll work. Thanks. And so, this was at one time a religion. Sort of like we have uh, Christianity, Catholicism, Judaism, being Muslim. Thus, religion, at one time Greek mythology, was a religion. It was not a religion, it was the only religion. If you lived during the time, this is who you believed in. You prayed to them and you thought these were real beings that would come down and have an interaction with your life. Much like if you're a Christian, you believe in Jesus. They believe in these same people. Do people believe in this religion today? No. Nowadays, it's no longer an active religion. Anyone that believes in Greek mythology today wears a really tight white jacket and stays in a padded room. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Why do we bother learning about it? Well, the reason I still bring it up is because it shows up in a whole bunch of literature, books, stories. The more you know about this, it's going to help you understand a whole bunch of other stuff in your life. But realize at one time, it, this was stuff they really believed in. They just don't believe in it anymore. The other thing I wanted to mention was a lot of you guys already have some background with Greek mythology, from movies, books, stuff like that. Several of you guys have read the uh, Percy Jackson series. Awesome. Or seen the movies. Awesome. Or seen the Clash of the Titans. There are two movies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, several of you guys growing up watching Disney movies. There was the Hercules Disney movie. The same thing. The more you can do to forget that, the better off you'll be when it comes to Greek mythology. Because a lot of that uses the names from Greek mythology, but does not actually have stuff to do with Greek mythology. It'll confuse you when we get into it. You'll go, Mr. Brogiak, well, that's not how it happened in the movie. I know. The movie's going to be wrong, so you're just going to have to accept it. As a quick example, because a lot of kids have seen the old Hercules Disney cartoon movie, that one just uses the names from Greek mythology, but very little of the story is actual from it. Because Greek mythology, not aimed at little children at all. Like the story of Hercules in the movie. For those of you who've seen it recently, do you remember who Hercules' parents are? Zeus. Zeus and? Some other guys. 
uh, Hera. A main girl. So in the movie, Zeus and Hera, the, the married couple, are the parents of Hercules. That's not how it was in Greek mythology. In Greek mythology, Zeus was the father, but Zeus had been friendly with another person. I'm going to have to use code words as we get through Greek mythology, and one of them is friendly, because Zeus was a very friendly person, and went around being friendly with a lot of what people. What does friendly mean? Yeah, use your imagination, <laughs> which is friendly. He was friends with a girl. Does that and mean then he she... has kids with a girl? Uh-huh, and then eventually a kid came out. And so... Oh, that's what friendly Yeah. So, <laughs> Zeus was friendly with a girl that was not his wife which made his wife not very happy. So she decided, since she can't kill her husband, not because it's wrong, but because gods can't die, that she would kill the baby instead, that baby being Hercules. Yes. Apparently Disney said, well, that's not very good for kids, so we're going to change it. So they changed it from Hera being the bad guy trying to kill the baby to the movie, who's the bad guy? Hades. Blue guy. Hades. With the big blue flaming oh, hair. Oh, yeah. One, Hades doesn't have flaming hair. Two, Hades wasn't a bad guy. He and Hercules got along. They were actually friends throughout most of Hercules' story. And so that's one of the big things that's going to be different is sort of who's trying to kill Hercules. Plus, remember Megara, the girl with the red hair that he has a crush on, they go around and help and stuff like that. He does meet Megara and marries her and then kills her and her kids. Um, and yes. so that becomes a whole other issue. Right there. Guy. Once again, Disney was like, yeah, we're going to get rid of that part. Kids <laughs> will like... So there's a whole bunch of stuff we'll get into that if you go back to like Percy Jackson and Hercules, it's not going to make much sense. So keep that in mind. But back to things that do make sense. For here, jovial. We're going to get that from Greek mythology. It comes from the Roman name from one of the gods. My question is, what god will we get it from? Blake? Zeus. Because what was Zeus's Roman name? Jovial. Close, not jovial. Jove. Absolutely. Jove. J O V. So his Roman name was Jove, so we get the word jovial from him. Now, why do we get the word jovial from him? Well, first off, you have to know what the word jovial means. And what the word jovial means is happy. And it came from the idea of being on top of the world. Because the thinking was that okay. Zeus had to be on top of the world. He had to be a happy person because he's the king of all kings. He was the king of all the gods and stuff like that. So they thought, well, he's got to be happy. But it's ironic. If I say it's ironic, what does that tell you about Ooh. his personality? It's sad. ironic we get jovial from his name? Because he's a really bad, sad mad. person. There you go. In almost every story we get into, he's very upset very mean, trying to smite and kill people. Now, he's very friendly, uh, but in a different way. And so the idea of him being jovial and happy doesn't always connect. Much like me not being jovial when kids don't have their blue sheet out and are copying this information down, when I can tell and see that it's not there, with me having to be mean and giving them dirty looks as they write. Uh-huh. I, I don't information. Hey, good. Now has to copy in your notebook. So it has to be in your notebook for you. Yeah, but you're getting there. And don't forget the blue sheet, too. And that would be the joke. Now, with Jovial and Zeus, it says he has another Roman name. And what was his other Roman name? Jupiter. Jupiter. Now, you should recognize the word Jupiter. Ooh. Where do you know it from? Planets. Planets. Space. All of the planets come from Roman mythology. All these gods, they're planets. You go through there and look through all of the Roman names for those different Seven. gods you're going to recognize a whole bunch of planets in there. Sun? You're going to see Mars, you're going to see uh, Uranus, you're going to see Mercury. Uh, uh, Pluto, Mercury. Those all come from them. So all nine planets come from the gods for a reason. Because if you go through there, like Mars, what color is the planet Mars? Orange or red. 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 Well, they named it after the god of war because they thought Mars, the planet, was covered in blood. So they named it after the god of war. Mercury, the planet that goes really fast around the sun, named after Hermes. Hermes, the god that runs really fast. Pluto, the planet that's really far away and really small and apart from all the other ones. Artemis. No. Hades. 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 What? Because he was the god that was dark and far away there. from everyone. But that one has a moon. That's fascinating. And then you also have um, Uranus which was the biggest of all the planets, because Uranus was thought to be the king of all the gods. He was one of the first Epithes. ones that was out there. And so all of the planets come from all of these different gods. Look at that. People raising hands and me ignoring them. Next up, cereal. 
And what guy are we going to get cereal from? Kellogg's. Daniel? <laughs> Demeter. Nicely done. And what is Demeter's Roman name? Ceres. Nicely done, Emmanuel. Her Demeter, who is the one that's right over here, who has the grains that she's, uh, stalks of wheat. Back over, there she is, behind Sturkle. She's sitting in a throne with the little stalks of wheat back there behind her in that one too. And then in this one, <laughs> stalks of wheat. Demeter was the god of grains and harvest. She was the one that could make uh, the plants grow. She was the one that made the crops grow and stuff like that. So if you wanted no. things to grow, you would pray to her. Not quite the same thing as Mother Nature, because that was also connected to Mother Earth, but she was at least the one that controlled when things would grow. So the word cereal comes from her name, C-E-R-E-S. Oh, so the idea was food that came from Ceres was called cereal. And what is cereal made from? Grains. grains. Wheat and grain. Two grains. Originally, cereal was just food from grain. Now given, today, it's not quite the same way. Many of you guys had cereal for breakfast, and there was very little wheat or grain involved. It was mostly sugar covered. It's a bounce breakfast. Sugar covered, you know, you know, frosted chocolate bombs and stuff like that. It, because way back when, when they had cereal, it didn't sell real well because kids didn't want to eat it. Because you take a big old bite, and it tastes like eating crap. So you spit it out. So I will put some sugar on it. And you sprinkle some sugar on like, oh, the sugar tastes good, but the grass part's not. And so eventually, like, let's make more money. They decided instead they put more sugar on top of the cereal, and they made even more money. They were like, let's not if we take out some of the grass-tasting stuff and put more sugar in instead. We make even more. And they did. The kids were like, ah, ah, ah. And so they ended up making tons of money. So today, cereal doesn't have much connection to the grains and harvest as it once did. Uh, like the frosted the honey, the frosted... Uh, frosted flakes. As I say, the frosted mini wheats. But now you guys just take those like that, pop, 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 off the sugar and throw it to the side. But it's the, the, the wheat part that's actually in there. Volcano! And what god are we going to get volcano from? Schultz. Not Schultz, sorry. Christy, wrong hunter. Hephaestus. Hephaestus? Why do you say Hephaestus? Because he's like all fiery and stuff. What's his Roman name? Hepathetus? No, that's his name. Um, yes, it volcano. is. Volcano. It is on the sheet in front of you. You just have to sit there and look at it and actually read from Hepathetus. 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 Hepathetus
What would you have? A volcano. The volcano, the volcano comes in. That's time. And so the volcano means to erupt with fire, and that was how they were able to track which mountain he was currently working in by the fire that would come out of the top. So the volcano was the erupt with fire from Hephaestus. And Mercurial. How about that one? Bowron. Hermes. Why do you say Hermes? Because his uh, other name was uh, Mercury. Nice, Luda. Hermes, the guy over here striking the Heisman Trophy pose, looks like he just won. He's off to the side. He's also right back here above, sort of where Lynn's saying is. The Hermes up there, and then you see the Hermes here. He was the speedy god, the fast one, the flash of the whole group. And because he was so speedy, he got a main job that he did for Zeus. Ooh. The main job he did, Blunt? Messenger. He was a messenger. And because they didn't have telephones or texting, if you wanted to send a message to someone, you had to handwrite it and then send it to them. Zeus could handwrite the message or just speak it to Hermes, and Hermes would run off and then deliver it. He was able to get the messages delivered really quickly. Because he was so fast, other people ended up praying to him too. Who else would pray to him because of his speed? Greece. Lolo? Um, the people that have people's arms. It is on the handout right in front of you. You're correct. Jack. Um, Agent. Oh, I was just saying something else. Me too. Josh. Mailman. No, that was the same thing. The messenger. We already covered them. Nicely done. Baker. Thieves. Thieves. Thieves would often pray to him because if you were going to steal something, you'd want to be fast. Because if stealing things, the faster you are when you take it, the better chance you have of getting away with it. If you're slow when you, see how fast it was. Because if you're slow when you try to take something, it doesn't work nearly as well. So if the thieves would pray to him because that way you'd be like, I'm going to steal it. Now the other reason thieves would pray to him because that way if you get caught, you're like, oh snap. You could like, ah! and you could take off running and screaming and stuff like that. And so thieves would say, I want to pray to him either to steal things quickly or because I want to run away after I get caught. Who else would pray to him besides thieves? Matt Brat? People who run races. People who would run races would probably also pray to him. I could count that too. Jack? Slow people? Slow people. <laughs> who wants to be faster? Sure. Emmanuel? Um, the people in the underworld because he took, like, He did. We'll get to that in just a moment. You're right. Uh huh? Uh, messenger, we covered that with the postman. That was Josh, was he brought up. They also mentioned on there, I think, uh, the same merchants. What are you? Uh, the other side, I said we're going to be using the entire class, but if you get through the paper before. Boy, I kind of listen when you talk. It's okay. And so merchants messenger. would also use him too. And the idea of merchants was because they used the open air market where in order to sell stuff, you would just talk out loud. The faster you could talk, the more stuff you would sell. And that's why auctioneers are how you sort of yell at people. Tomorrow, those of you who still owe me homework will be standing. If not, we're going to continue getting through more of our words, reminding you that we're on Hermes, and we'll continue from that. There. Cashiers don't make very